here on EA Sports along with Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Looking forward to this one. Yaroslavl's got no time to think about what went down last night because they're right back on the ice tonight. Thinking's bad, James. It's better than just go in and play. And a lot of times I found the second of back-to-backs, I felt great early. It was later in the game I started to wear out. from the goaltender's perspective, James. We get another look at it, and nothing spectacular about it, but a positionally solid sound save. From the right side, they gain the zone. And now he moves it to Yule. And he stands tall in goal. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Past the midway mark of the frame. James and Ray with you tonight. 2-0 is the score. Takes the feed. Stones him in front. The Russians will play it from the defensive zone. Novo Sibirsk's gain possession along the boards. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Hey, getting another look at that one, James, right here. Look at that save. Just a piece, just enough to keep it out of the net. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Moves it quickly over to Korshkov. Carries it across the line. Yaroslavl's got the puck in the corner. Blast from the blue oh. line. Scores! That's three unanswered now. Oh, there seems to be no way to stop them. 
They got one, and it seemed like the momentum just changed so far in one team's favor. It's a snowball effect now. I think the goalie actually read this play quite well. He looks like he's in position. He's trying to keep up to the pass. But because that pass was perfect, the one-timer beats him clean. The Russians probably don't want this period to end here, Razor. Nobody wants a birthday party, Dan. Those things are fun. <laughs> Good boy. So you want to keep going here. Yaroslavl's playing it from the side. Here's a blast. What a stop as he puts out the fire. Shores moving it ahead. Yaroslavl's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Players are set, officials are set. Third period action is coming up. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? No most fierce frustration's pretty evident. They've had all kinds of chances, but that goalie down there has been amazing. The Russians looking against the half wall. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Turns it aside with the club. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. He ran right through him on that hit. Lined him up, timed it perfectly. More than half the period left to play. 3-0 is the score. Scoops up the puck now. Sends a pass over. Grabs control of it at the point. Turns it aside with the glove. Sends the pass over. The Russians played along the wing. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Russia's on the calendar next. That should be a fun one. It should be. The teams play generally pretty aggressive physical games against each other. More than half the frame has been played here. Yaroslavl's got a 3-0 lead. They have been in control right from the start. And that's poked away by Murphy. Pinned up along the boards. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Novo Sibirsk's got it along the wall. And that one's blocked. Wicked blast. Turns it away on the slap shot. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Yaroslavl's got a hold of the puck. Novo Sibirsk's got a hold of it along the wall. Trying to gain a step. He's in the clear. Stones him on the breakaway. Takes it and looks ahead. Moves it quickly over to shore. And there's the save. Battle along the boards. Yaroslavl's got a hold of it against the wall. Denies him on the slapper. And the intensity starts to ramp up here after that hit. Here's a chance. Score! Oh, man! You know, the rookie was starting to think about the shutout. It gets late in the game. You don't have much to go, but one beats him. Oh, James, this is your fault. I know you said shutout in your head. You broke the curse. This is in the net. That goalie's not happy with you. Novo Sibirsk's narrowed the gap here in the third, but still a long way to go, Red. Yeah, James, this is still way down the road to even this game up. But if you get one, maybe you get another. Maybe they get nervous. Extra attacker at one end, but an empty net at the other as this face-off looms. Yeah, you draw the play up, you look for the face-off win for a quick shot. Taken by Roffel. A shot at the empty net. Tucks it into the empty net. Well, that should pretty well wrap it up. Another cushion onto the lead. They'd really have to screw this up now, James, to lose. The empty netter should put it away.
The setters will glide into the dot. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Yaroslavl's got the puck along the wall. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Here's an offensive chance. Scores! It's like an endless supply of goals. It doesn't ever seem to be a stop to this. Somebody scores, you know or feel like there's another one coming very quickly. The man advantage break is sprung here, and they execute it perfectly. Two different views from either side of me. One coach not happy they gave up the man advantage break. The other one's pretty pumped with how they executed it. Anisimas won the draw here in the open ice. And now he angles it across to Boucher. And we've got a two-on-one. And that's a great read to force the turnover. And he hangs on just as time runs out. There's the final horn, and this one's in the books. Ray, another loss, and the bleeding continues. They'll tell themselves they were close, and that's a good thing. But man, this gets heavy after a while, and you have to really work hard to pick up yourself to get ready for the next game. For my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us. Good night.